Hey, what's going on everyone? Try to Thrive here with part three of a quick, small, little four-part series where we will be looking at all four of the brand new animals in the re recently released Planet Zoo Arctic Pack, um, where in each part we will take a look at an animal in depth. Uh, now we did that previously with the polar bear and doll sheep, I had a lot of fun with those, and now for this third part, we're going to be taking a look at the arctic wolf, and just like the previous two, we're going to follow along a formula where we're going to take a look at the two genders, just to see the differences, watch them just casually do their thing for a little while, then we'll check out what they do with their enrichment items, we'll watch them feed and drink, we'll compare them to the other animals, it's pretty obvious which one we're going to compare the arctic wolf to, because that's the one we're doing right now, and course we're going to watch them fight and all that good stuff so uh yeah without further ado let's just go ahead and begin by taking an in-depth look at the brand new arctic wolf all right so to start off we're going to take a look at the female arctic wolf very beautiful i'll say that right now the arctic wolf is very beautiful um also as a reminder at towards at the end of the video when i give my final conclusion on this animal i'm also going to be are going to continue ranking the animals as we go through them one by one and for a while this animal has been my least favorite of the whole pack for pre-launch um, and I I don't know if my opinions changed we'll have to talk about it when it comes time but as far as right now and I'm gonna go ahead and forget all the other animals just looking at the arctic wolf it is very very beautiful um, I honestly do prefer it over the timber wolf um, Actually, I can't wait to show you guys the comparison between the two because there are some major differences, thank gosh. Um, anyway though, yeah, this is the female, and from what I could see, the male was about the same size. Uh, could be wrong about that, probably a little bit bigger, but not as major size differences as some of the other animals like the polar bears. Um, hopefully we'll get these two closer together. I also forgot to mention that we are, of course, going to take a look at the babies. We'll be doing that actually after we get a good long look at these guys, just casually just doing their thing. They look so cute for some reason. Almost, they almost look like the Arctic Fox, which is the animal we wanted instead of this. Alright, let's go back at, let's go look at the male for a second. Yeah, it's really difficult to tell the genders apart. You, I think the only way you really can is just actually by clicking on them in this game. Um, just like it would be in real life. If you look at an arctic wolf, you won't be able to tell what gender it is. Very, very beautiful animal. So anyway, though, I'm going to go ahead and just... Oh, actually, if looking... Hang on, pause in the game right here, looking at the two. Now, even though they're far apart, it's kind of easy... It is obvious to tell. The male is for sure bigger, but that's no surprise. It's just how it always is. Um, almost always. And, uh... Yeah, so yeah, obviously the male is bigger, but overall, it's, it, they look, over than that, they look very identical. So let's just go ahead and check out, let's go take a good long look at them actually just doing their thing.
and out comes the baby. Surprisingly, this baby came a lot faster than I expected. Like, as soon as they made it, it only took, um, technically within the game, a couple months. Usually it would take, like, six months. No, no, more than that. Like, actually, like, a full year. Um, but this guy came a little, this guy came fast. And, uh, oh, of course, it's so cute. Now, one thing obvious about the Arctic Wolf is it does take pretty much, as far as animation-wise, everything from the Timberwolf. And must say, even the babies look uh, pretty much exactly like the Timberwolf babies. Maybe, I imagine, a little bit sm uh, smaller, because we'll talk about that when it comes time. And just a little bit wider. But for the most part, they are pretty much just the exact same thing, but altered a little bit, you know? And it's fine. I mean, I'm not complaining to have two wolf subspecies, considering that both of them are super cool. And there are some differences. Like I said, we'll take a look at that when it comes time. But anyway, the baby is just so cute. Not as cute as the other babies in this pack, I gotta be honest, but it is still so adorable. Um, I love the little little fur patches on the back. Oh, look at me on the Simba on the Pride Walk, Pride of Rock. That was stupid. Anyway, um, but yeah, the, it's just so cute, right? Look at him. He thinks he owns this little kingdom. Oh, it's so cute. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and try and find them uh, eating, right? And uh. Drinking, as far as drinking goes, if I spot it, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll record it, but, uh, it's not exactly the most exciting thing. They just crouch down and drink. Um, so anyway, though, let's just, uh, let's get some food in here. Also, look at the faces they make when they poop. I mean, just... Oh, darn it, it didn't make the really... Okay, the other day when this pack first came out, and I was playing around with it. The face that the wolf makes when it craps is so pathetic. I love it. Um, it's 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 freaking amazing. <laughs> Hopefully, I pulled up a picture for you to see. Anyway, though, let's get some food in here. And feeding time has come. <laughs> I love the howl. Uh, she just placed down food. Oh, oh, let's watch the little puppy. He actually has not eaten yet since you know coming into life. Um, Huh, she fed them twice. I guess why not, right? Aww. Aww, socializing with mommy. Dad is over there, not giving a crap. <laughs> All he wants to do is eat and sit back on the couch. Well, there's a bit of a deeper meaning to that, but anyway, though, just check him out. It's so cool. I mean, right here, this is nothing new. It's the exact same feeding animation as the Timberwolf, but it looks really good. I love how fluffy the tails are. I just noticed. Again, this thing really does, from like a distance, almost look like a humongous arctic fox. Uh, the baby almost looks like an arctic fox. It's so good. Um, so anyway, after this, I'm going to go ahead and bring in some enrichment items. We're going to try and take a look at the food enrichment first, and I say try because they don't always interact with the food enrichment. But uh, I'll try. Well guys, unfortunately I was not able to get them to interact with the food enrichment, it usually just doesn't happen. I mean, if you place down a ball of food, um, sometimes they'll just walk by and push it as they walk, but it's more about, it's literally just more or less the model pushing it. But whoa, whoa, that was weird. I'm not the only one who saw that, right? For a second, like, its head morphed into almost a werewolf. I'd love to see that, an arctic werewolf, that'd be cool. But anyway, though, they almost always interact with the toy enrichment, though, as we're seeing it right here. And as usual, no surprise, it's so cute. <laughs> I just love them. Yeah, the Arctic Wolf is surprisingly a way more satisfying animal than I was, thought it was going to be. Yeah, I already dropped it. Okay, so after this, we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at um, comparing it with the Timber Wolf, and then eventually we'll watch them fight. Okay guys, so I got the Timberwolf in the exhibit, now fighting is turning, turned off right now because we're here just to compare them. Um, <clears throat> and I'm, this is the first, um, this is the closest they've gotten to so far. I'll try and get a closer, I'll try and get footage of them closer, but as you can see, it's obviously, uh, obviously that the Timberwolf is bigger. These are both the males, um, so just, you know, I don't know, just because sometimes, you know, the females, the females can be smaller or bigger or whatever, but um, yeah, these are both male wolves and um as i said it's very obvious that the arctic wolf is, mu is smaller and honestly i thought it'd be a little bit smaller when i compared them the other day they were much smaller and I even and i made sure the genders were the same uh i guess just uh perhaps just a variation between the between the species but anyway um and also 
if you may or may not you may or may not be surprised at this hopefully most of you are not because it's exactly how it's supposed to be arctic wolves are substantially smaller than timber wolves timber wolves are like the largest canine on the entire planet but anyway though um and the arctic wolves are one of the smaller ones or smaller wolf subspecies anyway as you can see the you can see a really good size comparison let's try and get them a little bit closer perfect all right um <clears throat> yeah timber wolf is Huh. Actually, surprisingly, the, the Arctic Wolf looks to be thicker, by chance. I, I suppose it, I suppose it would need that, as it's in the cold more, but the Timber Wolf definitely still has more mass on it, and the Arctic Wolf is thicker. So, you know, some differences. It's, it, hmm, it's interesting, because some parts of this, some parts of me feel actually really relieved to see how different the arctic wolf is, even the tails are somewhat more different, the arctic wolves almost have a little bit of more of a curvy tip to the bottom of it, and the timber wolf is quite straightforward. Um, of course colors are the big differences, but really, I'm, I'm actually really quite happy with the differences, I was a little too worried that the arctic wolf would be too similar, but I'm happy with it. At the end of the day, though, I'm sure we all still would have preferred the Arctic Fox, but hey, one white canine for another. Oh, they're so cute. All right, anyway, though, I think we should go ahead and move on to the last part. Before the, before the conclusion, we, we need to watch them fight. To be completely honest, I am rooting for the Arctic Wolf. I do, for some reason, much much preferred over the Timber Wolf. Uh, it's so funny, I was holding the toy until the Arctic Timber Wolf actually got here. Anyway, realistically, the Timber Wolf should win this. Because, you know, it's just bigger. I'm also really worried that the timber wolf will kill one of the big. Oh my god. Wow. What? What? Okay, this has been. There's been a lot of weird things going on. I noticed this with the doll sheep's video yesterday when I was doing it. I kept trying to find the doll sheep's males fighting. It said. The game said to me that it was literally. I mean, it didn't say it to me, but it, it, the game notified me that they will start fighting. And technically, they were getting the effects of fighting. It, they kept. They, they were apparently fighting because they were all getting injured and stuff, but I actually never saw them fight. It's really weird. As, as we just saw, the timber wolf straightforward just died and boom, instantly came back to life. I, I just don't understand that. Um, maybe it was just meant to just collapse. Was it just supposed to collapse? I, I don't get it. Why, why, why'd you do that? Why, why do you have godlike powers, Mr. Timberwolf? What? Why? <laughs> it looks so dope like that. Um, yeah, I, I don't get that. There's some really weird things. Like, for example, also with the polar bear video, Mama Polar Bear killed the grizzly bear so fast in just one hit. It was, it, it was unbelievable. And I guess I can accept that a bit more. But I just that was so weird. Timberwolf died and instantly came back to life at least it looked like it died it kind of it just collapsed right to the ground like all the animals would um but technically speaking the arctic wolf won strangely enough which realistically does not oh he's he's stalking her down for one of two things um anyway though realistically the arctic wolf should win or sorry, the timber wolf should win. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, let's watch this again and let's see. Damn these camera. Shoot, shoot, shoot! I'm missing it. My bad. Let's watch this. Definitely curious to see if the same thing will happen. Wow. Okay, male timber wolf is absolutely ginormous compared to the female. That seemed a bit more realistic, I guess. Yikes, look at your scar. In fact, that's what I'm gonna name you. Because I mean, this video isn't about the timber wolf, but screw it. Scar the timber wolf. Alright, let's get you out of here, buddy. Mama Savage. As per usual. I say that because like, almost all the other animals I've been playing with in this pack just instantly killed their enemies like crazy. 
Anyway, uh, yeah, so that was the fight. It was really interesting. Interesting, interesting things going on there. Um, like I said, let's say we both just have like a completely fully healed Arctic Wolf and Timber Wolf. Put them together. Realistically, the Timber Wolf should win. And I don't know if that's exactly. Maybe that is how the game was set up. Perhaps. Like, like I said, we saw some kind of glitch where it looked like the Timber Wolf died and it came back alive. I really don't know. Um, but hey, I can say one thing: both wolves are super cool. But at the end of the day, I gotta prefer the Timber Wolf. Anyway though, let's just go ahead and move on with the conclusion. And so guys, that was it. That was my in-depth look at the Arctic Wolf. Um, ultimately, was not a perfect video. I'm sorry for some of my li um, lines being messed up. It's just always regular for me. I just, I don't know, not very I'm good at remembering what I'm going to say exactly. Sometimes I just think of it straight off the head. But anyway, back to the Arctic Wolf. Ooh, gorgeous again, our Aurora Borealis. I always like ending these videos with the aurora borealis in the background but anyway though the arctic wolf is truly a really beautiful animal ultimately though if i have to put it somewhere in my ranking list compared to the doll sheep and polar bear it is still my least favorite despite the uh, gorgeous howl it is still my least favorite of the well of the three we've looked at maybe it'll be the caribou well, i mean sorry well same thing <laughs> we'll find out in the next video um yeah now Really, realistically for me, the timber wolf, I'm sorry, the arctic wolf is a really good animal. It's up there um, somewhere, at least for, it's probably my favorite canine in the game now. Uh, but I just, I, I, I don't have anything against it. Just all the other animals in this pack are so much more incredible. And can you get out of the leaves, damn it? Oh, let's go check out little Junior here. He's coming to check out Papa. Damn it. Where's Mama? Well, they've all vanished for me. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's basically it. Timberwolf, super cool animal. Uh, very happy to have it. I just much prefer the other new animals instead. And that's why it's my least favorite so far. But when I say that, I really still like it deep down. I think a lot of people do as well. Interesting things about it. It definitely visually is quite different from the Timberwolf, despite feeling quite similar. I, I don't know for sure. I guess you just kind of need to go experience it for yourself and make your own opinion. I'd love to hear what you think down in the comments below. But anyway, though, thank you all so much for watching this video, guys. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. Check out my Discord. It's in the description below. I just reached 800 subs. It's awesome. I have a really cool um, new Wexford Zoo video I'm working on, along with some new series I want to start soon. And uh, I'm now officially on my way to a thousand subscribers. So again, thank you all so much for watching, and I will um, see you guys all in the next one. Bye bye.